everyone. Mahalo for joining us today. I'm your host, Melly James, co-founder of Mana Up, a local accelerator program to help Hawaii businesses grow and scale to global markets. You can find all local products made by these entrepreneurs who participated in our program at our shop, House of Mana Up in Waikiki or at houseofmanaup.com. We're presenting season two in partnership with Hawaiian Airlines, Bank of Hawaii, World Elite MasterCard. And I'm joined by our co-host, Bryson Tolentino from Hawaiian Airlines. Aloha, Bryson. Aloha, Meli. I'm looking forward to transporting our viewers today to the east side of Oahu. For those of you watching, we're in the heart of Kailua Town, surrounded by many other local small businesses, just a few miles away from Manukai Beach and about an hour south of our last destination, Koku Farms. I'm excited to welcome all of you once again to the second season of our Meet the Makers series. And it's awesome to see everyone tuning in from Sydney, Pukalani Maui, Nara, Japan, and San Francisco. All right, love it. We're like hitting all the corners of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, well, today we're coming to you live from the shop of Oahu based artist and Mana Up Cohort 2 alum, Nick Kuchar. I'm really stoked for today because I myself actually have a whole bunch of Nick's prints hanging all around my house. And I know Nick has done a lot of work for mm -hmm. Hawaiian Airlines. Isn't that right? Oh, that's right. Um, his most recent Hawaiian Airlines collaboration was last year creating a beautiful retro surf inspired tote bag and it. postcards. Speaking of which, I'm going to invite the creative force behind all these incredible designs, Nick Kuchar. Come on up. Thanks for having me on, guys. Great to have you. Great to see you. Great to have you. Today, the artist himself will review his latest print to everyone live. Plus, I think you're going to show us how to make our own screen print with this design, right? We're going to try our best, yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so Nick, um, can you share with us a little bit about how you started? Like, how did this whole thing get started with Nick Kuchar Art and Design? Yeah, so I've been doing this about 12 years now. It originally started as just creating some art of some of our favorite locations my wife and I love to celebrate here in Hawaii. And it's kind of organically grown into actually making a living off of it. So it's been amazing. I've been an artist my whole life and always just trying to, I guess, find that niche that people connected to. So your wife actually asked you to like make some art for your home? Yeah, she has all the best best ideas about this business, so I just have her give me advice and then run with it. But um, but yeah, we just had a few spots. So I think a Haliva Town, the Shave Ice print was one of my first prints of all time, just because we loved going up there and hanging out um, in town and surfing over there. and just to see it grow over time and, and have those experiences with folks that also enjoy those things has, has been really special. But did, did you go to school for this? Um, I went to school for industrial design. So um, yeah, I had an industrial design degree, which is a little more product design, but I always say it's a great degree if you want to be an entrepreneur. There's so many things that you can put in your toolbox from that. And I, I learned a lot from it and was able to apply it with like, you know, digital software. Where I do quite a bit of digital illustration as well as tying that into fine art and, and more. Well, we're going to learn a lot about your process here in our show today. So, all right. So um, we have a special giveaway just for all of you watching live. Enter today's giveaway before the end of the show, and you'll have five times the entries for a chance to win the Oahu Traveler set, which includes Nick's newest print. Where we're going to grab it over here. His newest print, which is this here, one. I'll help right? you out here. Thanks. Yeah. We'll, we'll model it for you. All right. So um, his newest print, which is the we're going to go into today, the D, right, with the series. And then we also have the Kailua Mirror Camp mug, which is super awesome and cute. And the Kailua Beach, the Kailua Beach Park Hawaii Travel Print. So all valued at $110. Enter now by scanning the QR here, and we will announce the winner at the end of the show. So stay tuned. And if you didn't already get your Meet the Makers feature product, it's not too late. Get Nick's newest print, which we're debuting here first his letter D, Diamond Head Lighthouse print, which is a part of his Alphabet Surf series, now on HasamanaUp.com. Nick only made 150 of these prints, and they are selling fast, so be sure to get yours now. Plus, for our Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard members out there, when you make any purchase starting today until this Sunday, August 21st, we're rewarding you with five times the Hawaiian miles for every dollar you spend at Hasamana Up, both in-store and online. All right, I love it. So throughout today's show, be sure to comment below with any questions you have for Nick. And at the end of today's show, he'll answer your questions live. Plus, you might even get a special shout out. So definitely stay tuned. But also, Nick, I'm also going to let some of our viewers actually be able to make some suggestions on some secret spots. Maybe you could do 
for Love our it. next print. So always taking guys, recommendations. Yeah. yeah, if you guys are thinking of a cool spot that hasn't that Nick hasn't done, add it in the comments, and we'll make sure he gets them. All right, so. Um, uh, we're actually going to be looking at, you know, how artistic you got when you just redo the screen printing. I think we're going to be really excited. 150 is a lot after we see what's happened here on the screen. Yeah, it's quite a process, yeah. but it's a lot of fun, too. All yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so for now, let's um, let Bryson relax. I know you're going to be doing some screen printing yeah. later, and you obviously are very artistic, very athletic. <laughs> you obviously beat me in the bake-off, so you're clearly going to be this perfect screen printer. But we're going to let you hit oh. the beach right now and come back in a little bit. Thank you, Mel. All right. Thanks, Bryson. All right, so Nick, in the meantime, I'd love to show our viewers, especially those who aren't as familiar with you, more about your journey to becoming an artist and what inspires your design. So why don't we tee that video up? Let's do it. Aloha, I'm Nick Kuchar. I am the artist and founder of Nick Kuchar Art and Design Company, and this is my studio. I started this business about 12 years ago, kind of on a whim. Uh, my wife wanted some prints for our house, so I started illustrating our favorite locations and just celebrating all these spots that we went to in Hawaii. And before I knew it, uh, other local businesses took note. Uh, we had a few accounts that we wholesaled to, started an online shop, and it was something that just kind of grew out of nowhere, and it was just a real blessing, because at the time I was waiting tables just trying to make ends meet and um, it was just a great opportunity to get back into art and also feel really connected to the islands. So with the art style starting with just creating prints for our house it was always the inspiration was always centered around surf spots and hiking spots because that's something that my wife and I love to do and that's where we felt most connected to Hawaii, the, place, the, the places we found beauty. And so I think that's always been in the back of my mind that it's those outdoor natural beauty um, spots that have really inspired my work. And then some, some of the prints have deeper meaning based on the location of where they're illustrated from. So I love it that each print tells a story and it's my emotional connection to all these locations. And it creates fun conversations when other folks have stories about these spots too and it creates such a great connectivity between people. Yeah, it's always so hard to pinpoint what my favorite print or my favorite piece that I've created is because they all kind of have a unique story and a unique importance to me. Um, I'd say one of our most popular prints is the Sea Oahu's North Shore print and it has my van and my dog that uh, was by my side for you know years and years so all of those are always a little bit extra special to me because it's my lifestyle being told through these art pieces. And it's also a lot of fun to talk to folks about that and share those stories with them. All right, well, I love that your art not only really captures like the essence of places, but really just helps visitors and residents and people just really be able to put this up on their walls and really feel like you're right there. So. That was super cool to learn more about your inspiration. So yeah, thank thanks. you. Um, all right, great. So, you know, one of the things I think is kind of neat is, um, you know, I wish you guys were all here at Nick's shop because this is a ridiculous place. I almost feel like I'm in this super cool living room. Like I'm this like, was it, what do you think it's like 70s or is it 60s? Yeah, it's kind of 50s, 60s, oh, 50, I'm sorry, 50s. century modern. We want you to be able to come in here and visualize what your home would look like if you were transported to that era or had my art around those you know vintage items and things like that and so when people come in you, you feel transported and suddenly like i obviously have to get everything in here so my place looks like this that's too. our goal 100 <laughs> percent. all right so it's really just a, a super cool reflection of of nick's art and it's really awesome to see all the vintage hoi items and trinkets he has in the shelves so um i love that the woman's head right there the bust is that we call it a bust it is, yeah. That's an old vintage marwall, so they're collectible. And we have a, a range of things that I find inspiration from, as well as have them for sale in here. So uh, you can kind of come. It's all, and we sell them occasionally, so it's always nice to have a new cycle of items coming through. So you're kind of getting a different shopping experience every time you come in here. Oh, so you never know, because it could be just an original and then it's gone. Yeah, we're always bringing in new uh, uh, originals of my art and um, unique one-of-a-kind vintage pieces, too. Love it. All right, so if you see anything in here, it's for sale, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Right. 
So Nick, I'm also curious to know more about, you know, some of the items that inspire your art. So I know like, you know, with a lot of these prints, you're really, it's a vintage feel, but it really is coming from vintage kind of research and items that are inspiring you. So can you share more about that process? Yeah, definitely. So I find, as I always say, people ask like, where's your inspiration come from? And obviously there's no shortage of inspiration in Hawaii. Um, I love being outdoors. I love the surfing, the hiking. And that's kind of what originally brought us to Hawaii, you know, 17 years ago or so. And just to be able to develop that, and it's like such fun design research. Like I can go to these excellent spots that we love and have such history to them and also turn them into an, an art piece as well. So I think that's why we also have uh, customers that are local as well as travelers mm -hmm. because everybody has shared connections over these amazing locations. So. so speaking of certain pieces, this is actually one of our best sellers at House of Mana Up is this Hawaiian, Hawaiian Islands map. Can you share kind of how you how you created this really beautiful piece that just flying off the shelves yeah, everywhere. It's flying off the shelves. Flying off the shelves. Got to get you some more. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a, that's actually screen printed as well. So um, I know our sponsor is Hawaiian Airlines. So I brought one of my little vintage items. It's an old Hawaiian Airlines map from the 50s. Um, so it's one of their route maps. And just like sourcing these old items and kind of finding inspiration with the typefaces or um, the color palettes and things like that is um the color palette i mean that striking blue with the green just it's so gorgeous yeah it's really amazing seeing some of these items and you're kind of transported back in time seeing them too so i find a lot of inspiration with these sort of things and maps are always something people connect over so i, I really get a lot of joy about that like having a really practical piece of art but also uh, you can hang it up and just enjoy it as something that, that is aesthetically pleasing as well you're going to inspire a lot of people to start going into um, secondhand stores and start finding their own inspiration. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. You're going to buy it all up and then <laughs> I can't have any of it. No. All right. So um, you're also known for the vibrant pastel colors in your art. Like I know we were just talking about this, these, this kind of palette, but you're also really known for that beautiful pastel. Right. Yeah, I always say that I think the color palette and the composition is something that identifies my art. Mm -hmm. um, so I really try to be really purposeful in that. Um, I think that transports you back to that nostalgic era that we romanticize a bit. So um, yeah, those are two really things that are important to me in my art process. So you layer on the colors, but you start off with sketches. Can you share some of your original sketches and how you do that? With, yeah, that was one thing. Um, so always pencil sketching behind the scenes, you know, something you becomes, something. yeah. Um, you start with a pencil sketch. Most designers or artists, you know, you have that little napkin sketch at the bar or whatever mm -hmm. that's like hashes out an idea. Um, but uh, we just did the Turtle Bay uh, flooring, terrazzo flooring up there. So you can see like how something starts with just a, you're the pro, you know, how to, know where to point sure it. I don't know where see. it's going. Um, but yeah, you can see like just a, an idea that I have in my head that can be transported from idea to finished product usually starts with a, a pencil sketch. But also I did little surf characters during the pandemic and sold them as original sketches on Instagram. And that was just something that was a lot of fun and created mm -hmm. a lot of fun interaction. So um, after that, it'll go into um, the computer or acrylic. Is that and, this piece Yeah, now? there you go. Okay. I happen to bring that too. So uh, it was this originally and then it turns into this yeah so this i will can really be, see that <laughs> you can yeah a lot of people can visualize once there's some color on it yeah. and so then this was actually created into a vector file that they cut terrazzo colors that we custom colored and then put it in the flooring at the turtle bay resort wow. so you can go up there and see it and kind of see the steps of what it takes to get to a finished product so now it's something that's taking up the whole floor and um, it's always interesting to see art in different sizing and different applications mm -hmm. um, but yeah that's i guess something over the years that just as an artist you always have your certain process of how it goes but that always changes a bit too like over time so oh and this then one. Th this one here um i thought you'd never ask I know. <laughs> uh, this is the sketch i did uh, just a preliminary sketch for one of the murals in our studio or our shop here so I think he can pan over, but yeah, just a pencil sketch that turns into a uh, acrylic mural on the yeah. wall. Oh, nice. Oh, so there it is. Yeah. So that's in the, that's on the door, right? Yeah. It's on the, on the side wall of our, of our shop. So just to see 
the best thing with a pencil sketch is you can get something down on paper quickly and like hash out the idea in your head as a creative. And then you start having those ideas of like where it goes from there. Like, do you incorporate color? Does it be, do you, do you screen print it? Do you print it full color? Do you do, you know, different things? So um, I think we are a pretty varied creative studio. Like we can do a lot of different things, which mm -hmm. I think is fun. And as a creative, it always keeps it really fresh. So when you dream, are you dreaming in full color? Are you dreaming in sketches? And do you have a notepad next to your bed? So sometimes people write down what their dreams are, but do you draw them out? I saw that on Twitter or something. There was like the apple of like, which apple do you dream? Is it like the outline or the black and white or the color one? I think it's color. I don't dream about apples a lot, but. Um, maybe you will tonight. Yeah, maybe. That's like, <laughs> I felt like it kept me up last night trying to, trying to get ready for the show, but. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I dream in color and sometimes you get those ideas when you're not in the studio, right? You could be sleeping, you could be out on a drive, you could be at a, at a surf session or something. But yeah, the idea is you never know when they're going to come for sure. Well, speaking of being close to the beach, how close are you to the beach from here? Can you walk? Um, or do you surf out in Kailua? Yeah, you can yeah. walk from here if you want. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's maybe like a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. But yeah, we were right in the heart of Kailua town. and. Uh, I love how walkable this town is for sure. You can get to so many different places just by foot and no reason to get stuck in the traffic, right? You either bring a bike or walk around and uh, sometimes those are where those creative ideas and shared experiences come from too. All right, so um, we'd love to, you know, I'm also just loving all the decor in here and the shop just really transports you to old Hawaii. And I know there's just these great stories from every print you do. So I know you'll be kind of sharing more about those later. Um, but you're really known for your signature retro vintage art style. So you went, did that, was that always the case, even from like the first prints you drew with your, with, for, with your wife for your home? I think, yeah, since I've started creating the Hawaii travel art, it's been, for the most part, in the same style. Like people say, well, like, how did you get to that style? I'm like, that's just kind of what comes out when I start creating. And I think that's where you know you're kind of in the right spot, right? You're not trying to force it in a certain direction. Like that's how you're wired. You mm -hmm. know, you can compare yourself to other people's work or things like that. But when it comes down to it, you just want to be yourself. And as a creative, that's like, that takes away your joy. If you're like, oh, I got to try to do that or something. Like, no, just be yourself and, tr and try to create something amazing. So what, um, what are you working on now? Any new prints or any new collabs that you want to... Share about? Yeah, we actually uh, were talking about the sneak peek. Yes, um, the I sneak have, peek, guys. You're seeing it here first. <laughs> I have a clothing collection with uh, Hurley coming out soon. So I designed the um, contest art for the Hurley Pro at Sunset Beach last year, made a relationship with those folks. We had a lot of fun working on that. And they were like, hey, what do you think about creating a collection of some swim trunks and t shirts, Aloha shirt? And so we've been working on that for the last few months, and it's going to come out beginning of next year, which will be here before we know it. But um, yeah, we got the first samples here and right. I'm stoked on it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Take a look, I, I think we have Bryson here who's gonna be modeling some stuff for us. Oh we'll yeah, it looks yeah. great. Oh I look. wow, <laughs> I like that yellow. And I gotta say, it's a really comfortable, loose fit. Surfing plays a really big role in your life though. I mean, I, I always see you surfing with your kids. You've got them like on the board. They're at what, two years old and they're just totally right on the front of the board. Hang 10. Yeah, they, uh, we reward them when shave ice comes up again. We're like, if you guys catch three waves, we'll give you shave ice. So now they're like totally into it. They're like picking out their flavors out in the lineup. Like, like can I get ice cream? Can I get mochi? Like they're always, they're trying to like negotiate Next that. Next up, there's your hand stands or something on the board. Yeah, I mean, I'll incentivize them as much as I can push them out there. But uh, yeah, they're actually doing their first contest next week at Duke's Ocean Fest. So we're oh, just going nice. to be like a little Kokua division where we push them into waves. Wow. and will have to yeah. go out and check it out. Yeah, and I just like, I mean, that's something that's blessed me so much is being able to surf and be in the water and to see them enjoy that is really special to me. So what are some of your favorite surf spots? If you don't want to tell us your secret ones, because we're all going to, the whole world's <laughs> going to come down to them. Yeah, there's so many different spots that are, are for different, you know, whether you're riding bigger waves or smaller waves or with the kids. Like we live out in, on Eva's side, so we're always in those spots over there because they're pretty mellow and the kids can sit Do on the longboard. Do you go to Shark yeah, that's actually just a walk from our house. Awesome, so that's I love where it, my yeah. dad grew up surfing. Nice. Yeah, and it's like, um, yeah, it's just seeing our kids in those different spots and maybe not shark country, but, and that, that spot's not as sharky, I think, is, well, maybe it is. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it just came <laughs> Not as sharky. It's not as sharky, but it's called shark country. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, um, all right, so cool. Any other surf spots or any other? Um, 
Well, we were going to talk about the Haleiwa print yeah. a little bit, but let's hold off on that. Yes, yeah. let's hold off okay. on that. Sounds All right. good. You're going to go try these shorts on now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bryce, you, should, you, you, should, go, you, should, go, you should go change into those shorts. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll just show them. We don't want to put you, make you work too hard today. Those are but, cute, though. Yeah, I got a yeah. couple yeah. ones. You're supposed to say they're like rad. Oh, they're sorry. They're super rad. They're shredding. They're shredding. Bryson's going to go shred in those shorts. Yeah, so like the, you know, I grew up wearing Hurley trunks with the stripes on them. So, I don't know. It's really, really sweet to see that and like stoke that. You know, to see it in print, yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. That's awesome. So what's next for Nick Kuchar? I mean, not for you, but your, for your company. Like today or like? Uh, just No, just what's okay. next in, in general. Like right? Further I mean, down the road. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to learn new things. So I love, I love my style of art, but I'm always looking at like, how can I incorporate it into something else? So like collaborations with some great companies and um, expanding our offerings of merchandise and things like that. We have folks that are like, ah, oh, my wall's full. I've, I've bought prints and I have nowhere to hang any more art. So we're like, well, we have hats, we have beach towels, things like that. So I really enjoy bringing products to market. And maybe that's the industrial designer in me of like navigating that, of like sourcing things. You know, in Hawaii, cost of living is high, shipping is high. So you have to be a little extra, um, have an extra sense of like, how to navigate that because mm -hmm. it is difficult for sure. All right, well, we love all the prints you do. We're, re we're gonna be sharing some that you did with us with Mana Up, so. Um, well, I hope you all enjoyed learning more about Nick's inspiration and just as much as we did. Um, now we're gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look into Nick's art studio and learn more how his designs go from sketch to full color print. When we return, we'll get to watch Nick screen print his newest print live on camera. You won't want to miss it. I draw inspiration from so many daily occurrences on the islands. I have a print called Mango Season. It was a screen print we did in the studio. And having kids now, it's something to where I find inspiration in new places, like seeing the world through their eyes. So um, there's so many things that I think if you keep your eyes open to it, there's inspiration where you might not expect it. And sometimes those are the best breakthroughs on a creative project is getting outside the studio and really like being connected to your to the area around you. My design process goes through a few phases. It typically starts with an on-site sketch or photograph and just kind of thinking through like what makes these locations special and really just thinking like how would somebody talk about this location with me if we we're at an event trying to share a shared experience. Um, so after the sketches and photographs I'll bring it into the studio, um, maybe put it on the iPad in Procreate and add some color to it or jump into Illustrator and add some vector art. So each process is a little bit different, uh, kind of depending on the art piece I'm working on. And then just recently creating more one-of-a-kind original pieces for people that want to collect something really unique. So it's really just kept it fresh around our studio and leads to new creative inspirations. I I've learned over the past 10 or 12 years that there's so many unique experiences I've had with people that I wouldn't have been able to have if I wasn't an artist and if I didn't connect with them over these uh, individual works of art. That was awesome. I love all the surf video background, exactly what we were talking about. So. That was your daughter. How old was she in that video? Uh, she was, was like maybe a year ago. I think she was like four. Wow. So she's five now. But... She's just so natural. She's like, okay, I'm going to walk to the front. Yeah, the she's the one that tells us how to do it. <laughs> awesome. Now that we got a sneak peek behind what inspires Nick, I'm excited to watch him screen print the latest design in his Alphabet Surf series. In just a bit, I think you're putting one of our art skills to the test, right? Oh, we are, yeah. Awesome. We're going to be judged on it for sure. <laughs> so Nick, can you give us a quick rundown of how this works first? Yeah, for sure. So this is um, a process that we started learning back in the pandemic. Um, the, you know, all of our retailers were shut down and we had time on our hands. We we're like, let's learn something new. So I started creating these screen prints in our studio of um, different surf spots throughout Hawaii. So it was, it's called our alphabet surf spot ser uh, series starts with A, B, C, and you know the alphabet. Um, but uh, all these iconic spots, I was like, what if we just feature each one as a letter? And it's kind of a collectible thing. Yeah, we do them limited edition. So when they're out, they're out kind of thing. Um, so the, the D is Diamond Head Lighthouse. Um, it's a two color screen. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see, I'll tell you just a brief run through with the process here. Uh, if you're not familiar with screen printing, it's basically a very analog process. So I'll take my art, I'll separate it into different colors. So each 
stencil you have here on acetate is each color that we're going to be printing. So I even did you a, um, a solid and printed one color already. So all you got to do wow. is do one color. So I'm going to make it easy for, doing for you. Work. Um, and then that is exposed onto uh, an emulsion on the screen. And you can see there's like a, yeah, there you go. There's like a mesh that the ink will pass through. So the area that wasn't exposed will be washed out. And then this mesh, the ink can pass through. So uh, you'll see a lot of t-shirts are printed this way mm. and we print art this way. Um, it's a water-based ink. so. Trying to be as sustainable as possible, um, cleans up a lot easier, it's better for the environment. Our uh, paper mill that we get the paper from is powered by hydroelectric power. So we try to be like purposeful with those sort of things as much as possible. Uh, we're not perfect and nobody is, but you can always strive to like make a change with those sort of things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, without further ado, maybe we should uh, pull a screen here. All right. I'll well, show so you a lot how it's of done. you guys right. don't know that most of Nick's um, limited edition prints are done by screen printing. So um, that's really neat that you launched this during the pandemic. It is, yeah, and, it, and we're just really stoked that it kind of worked out. <laughs> like it's, it, I'm usually printing in like a dark hole in a corner in my studio, so you can't see the mistakes. So we're hoping right. for the best here on, yeah. on live camera. But, um, but yeah, so you'll see the ink I already put on here. You might be able to see it on the camera. Um, Mm -hmm. So the colors we mix, we hand mix in studio. So they're all Pantone based. I'll pick out colors that I want to see and then can add like little drops of certain colors to tweak them based on how you want them to look. So mm -hmm. there's, right. it's really nice to have that connectivity to the piece as opposed to just printing it digitally. Um, so I'll just do a quick run here just to get some ink on the paper. Um, so let's do one here. I love that color. It's kind of mana up, but not really. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> did that piece. I think we have one. We'll yeah, we have one. Well, later, this but... is the first one we did, the screen print, which was our collab with Nick, with this, which was Hawaii Theater, which you did for our Mana Up Showcase back in 2020. Yeah, so that was screen printed, and that was fun. And you had had the idea of putting some little Easter eggs, you called them, of different mm -hmm. brands in the Mana Up program. So we have some little featured Easter things in the window. Also called pascal eggs. Our eggs that are exactly. Awesome. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> Thank, thank Siri's you, Siri. always there for us. He's excited. Siri knows. Okay. All right. So here's here's what you're shooting for here, Bryce. Okay. So we got the color laid down. We already did the registration. We already did the first color. There's like, hopefully nothing you can screw up on. Okay. This, Nick made it easy for me. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so what we'll do is we'll throw a little bit of ink on the screen here for you. And let's see if you want to. I'll scoot over here if you want to put one of the papers down. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. So I'm going to take this. We'll line it up. Don't mess it up, Bryson. I know he makes it look really easy. Streak. <laughs> okay. You're putting too much pressure on the I guy. I know, I know. That's part of the. Um, so okay. you're going to want to hold the squeegee a little bit of an angle. You want to okay. use pretty firm pressure, and the ink is going to pass through the mesh onto the paper. Okay. All right. I can line it down here. All right. Good luck. I'm going to apply pressure. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> okay. All right. Then you can just Moment set it truth. there. I'll lift it up for you. Yeah, oh, okay. man. That's pretty good, actually. That looks great. All right. What, do you, what do you guys think? It's not as good as next, but it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it looks great. And can you start on Monday? We'll have you. Yeah. <laughs> have plenty of work for you. So I know you already shared more about the series. So this is D. Are you, are you doing E next, or you've already done them all? We're just printing a D. Yeah, I think we'll do them in order. Okay. Um, so I kind of design them as I go. Um, I do have an idea for each letter for screen printing for these, but you know that's another thing for the Q&A. If you have a server spot that you're really passionate about, I'd love to hear it because so much of the work I do is stuff that I'm inspired by, but also folks that come in the shop and like, hey, like, I live here. Like, you should do a print for that. I'm like, that would be pretty rad. So mm -hmm. um, I think that adds, a, like I said, like a connectivity to our customers and people that we can have those experiences with. All right. So I think you mentioned earlier that um, the only letter you for sure don't know a beat or a surf break for was the letter X. X, yeah. So if anybody in the audience knows of a surf break in Hawaii that starts with the letter X, you're going to win a big prize. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. So why don't we compare the two prints here? Let's get it yeah. real close. I don't know. Uh, I feel like they're both just really perfect. Looks pretty it's solid. All right. Well, Nick I guess really you're both winners. Everybody's yeah. a winner here today. <laughs> <laughs> the ink cooperated for us today. Nice yeah, work. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Great. So, Nick, I know you were part of our Mana Up cohort, too. 
um, our second cohort ever. Can you share a little bit more about that experience? Yeah, back in 2018, uh, you, you folks, uh, we had connected, I can't even remember how we connected through email or something and I looked into it and I was like, oh, this could be really good. Like at the time I was growing my business and you know, you kind of need some people there to be like, hey, is this a good idea or what am I doing here? And uh, it's like Entrepreneurs Anonymous or something like that where you can get together and like you have your challenges, but you start finding that most of the other folks have those same challenges. So um, it was really kind of freeing for me to be like, oh, like we can navigate through some of these things together. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, Mana Up had a, had a great list of speakers that would come in that were founders of other really big companies that I learned a lot from. And then just as important was really the team, uh, you folks sharing stuff and then the other entrepreneurs in our cohort. Um, and we've had lasting relationships with that. You know, I've done some work with just off the top of my head, like Big Island Coffee Roasters and um, just being able to, you know, continue those relationships is a lot of fun. Yeah, the collabs with all the founders, because it can be so lonely being a founder, but just getting those mm -hmm. great relationships. And that I love seeing all the collabs you've done with all the companies, or with many of the companies. Yeah, it's, it's fun to see that there's opportunities out there, for sure. Well, I want to remind everyone to please uh, be sure in the comments any certain letters with different surf breaks, please add them in and we'll make sure that we uh, look them over and Nick will obviously make the final call. Well, you guys heard it first. Nick will be debuting letter E soon, so make sure you comment below with which surf spot starting with the letter E that Nick should design. All right. And don't forget, you can purchase this on houseamonup.com. Only 150 prints of these. That's and correct. they're selling fast. Is it 152 now? <laughs> I'll give you guys these. We'll take them out of circulation. Yeah. yeah. And don't worry, folks, this one isn't for sale. I'll keep this on the side for my mother. These must be destroyed <laughs> after the show. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There can only be There's 150. There's no other choice, yes. yes. <laughs> Plus, uh, when you use your Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii Worldly MasterCard, you will earn five times bonus miles per dollar spent. Also, don't forget, we'll be announcing the winner of today's giveaway after our Q&A, which is the Oahu Travelers set valued at $110 including the newest design you saw a screen for today. So don't worry, it'll be when done professionally, done by Nick, not Bryson. <laughs> Just kidding. But be sure so to scan the QR code here. Uh, big mahalo to Nick for letting our viewers into your studio and shop here in Kailua and showing us how it's done. I think um, some of us did better than others. Okay, I'll stop. With <laughs> but anyway, uh, are you ready to, we're ready to answer some questions. But actually, before we start that, um, I'd love, uh, well, one, we'll let Bryson take another break. He's going to put the shorts on and go swimming and then come back. Yeah, I'll um, be right back. <laughs> but um, I'd love to actually hear, this is a really, really kind of popular print of yours. And I always love, because I do think you put in more little Easter eggs in your prints than most people know. Like there's always little secrets that maybe not everybody just that sees the print because it's just so gorgeous, but that might know about. So would you mind sharing a little bit sure. about this Haleiwa print? For sure, and that might be something, I think we've had that conversation about Mana Up before too, is like, I never had like narratives written out for my pieces of like all these details, and you were like, why not? Like the, those are so many things that you thought about and, and considered for the piece. And I was like, well, people can just look at it and figure it out, but I found that they really can't, right? So if you give them that, if you give folks that added layer of um, depth to it, you can really connect with the piece and learn more about these various locations. And I'm, I'm totally learning all the time too. I think that's like the best thing as an entrepreneur is like always be learning. Like you never know it all. And especially like in Hawaii, there's people that have been here for generations and generations you can learn from. So I feel like just that little bit that I'm able, <laughs> Siri is just killing us today. Siri's but killing us. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Just to be able to learn those things um, is something I'm really passionate about. So. All right. Anyway, so the Haleiwa Wahine yeah. print. Yeah, so that was um, the second Haleiwa print. We already talked about the one with the shave ice. Um, but this encapsulates a lot of great things. The surf spot, a Wahine play in ukulele, the harbor with the boats. And um, yeah, so you see in the buoy, the buoy there in the top right, um, the buoy is one of the iconic places over there um, at the surf spot. So when you're out there in the lineup and the buoy disappears, you can kind of tell that there's a big set coming in. Mm -hmm. um, so those kind of little details, yeah. you know, nothing that really makes or breaks the piece, but it's fun to ha go out to a market or somebody comes in the shop and we have that little chat about it. Somebody's a surfer, maybe from another location or, or we also have the same shared experience there. So that's something I guess maybe over time that I 
have learned to appreciate because I never realized that was going to be something that I liked so much about this business. But, um, but yeah, really enjoy that for sure. Well, that's awesome. Now I'll never see that the same way. And I love that bridge, actually. It's so iconic. Yeah, that's right. The bridge, yeah. too. There was some guy I just saw in a video. He was jumping off the top, like doing flips off of it and everything. So. Is the water there brackish? Is it half fresh, half ocean? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think the, the river runs off there. But Well, you heard it here first, people. All right, so let's get into some Q&A. Let's do it. I know. All right, so we're going to sit down. Yeah, I don't know if should I stand up or sit down. No, we're going to sit okay. down here. Sit down. Okay, so our first question is from Stacy. Is there a web address for us to order from? Well, it's great that you asked, Nick. Where, where can they order from? Yeah, so anything um, from Nick Kuchar, you can go to nickkuchar.com. And we have uh, social media where we post a bunch of new items at Nick Kuchar. So on Instagram, I just recently got on the TikTok. So making some great TikTok videos. So I feel like I'm totally out of my league on that. But, um, but yeah, if you follow us on social media, um, you'll see a lot of my one of a kind pieces or our newsletter. And uh, yeah, nickkuchar.com is where you'd like to go check that out. Okay. All right, another question, or question from Margaret. Nick, your studio is so unique. What was the inspiration for the, for the design? Yeah, like we said, um, mid-century modern, um, kind of a throwback nostalgic feel. I really love when folks can come in and see, picture their house looking like this, right? And so just collaborations I've done with like Kahala shirts, like we have those available here. So yeah, you can kind of wear it out or go take it home and put it on your wall. And we, we are really proud of how we built this place out. It was lime green when we moved in. So uh, we what kind was it of- What before? Um, it was uh, like swimsuit a shop? swimsuit yeah. showroom, yeah. So the, the lime green just didn't jive with my uh, art style. So we just turned it into a blank canvas. We built, me and my studio manager built a lot of the furnishings. And so, yeah, we're really proud of how it came out. And it was really a, a fun pandemic project, I guess. And it's so neat. You just walk out of the studio and you're just in Kailua town. It's just such a walkable, fun town with the different boutiques and Whole Foods is right nearby, so. Yeah, for sure. A perfect spot. Yeah, we have a, a great opportunity to be really close to a lot of people and Whole Foods, go grab a slice of pizza or whatever when you <laughs> need a break. Or a smoothie. Yeah, smoothie. Okay, with next question from Stacy. What's your favorite print? Oh my goodness, do you have, can you have a favorite child? Yeah, well I do, yeah, I tell them all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it just depends because there's so many, I mean, you always say like everything has its own special meaning, right? Like whether it was a trip you took on a honeymoon or a, a hike you did with your buddies and like backcountry trip or something like that. I mean, we definitely have our list of popular prints that folks, um, like from a purchasing standpoint, because people love the North Shore, you see that a lot. Our shop is in Kailua, so I think the Kailua Beach Park print's really popular. Um, but yeah, I just came out with that new Lanikai Kai print, so that was a really fun one, because my family, we, we do the, the hike up the ridge there quite a bit, or paddle out to the Mokalua Islands. So yeah, anything that just has something that you're, you personally are passionate about is, is the best. It's kind of like when you go out in the surf, you know, surfing, and it's like, which, li which lineup is the best? Which surf spot? And you're like, well, which one are you having the most fun at, you know? <laughs> okay, next question. Nohili from Honolulu. Is there a print in the works featuring Waimea on the Big Island? I may or may not know who this is. <laughs> Nohili. Uh, Nohili. <laughs> yeah, there actually is. Yeah, I love Waimea. That, that place is really special. Um, a lot of history up there. And it's not your typical like Waikiki palm trees, right? So mm -hmm. like it shows a different variety of like, what is Hawaii? Like Hawaii is so many different things and you can go up into the mountains and ride horses and, and things like that. And pe a lot of people don't realize that, right? So that, that adds a new conversation you can have with somebody like, oh, Waimea, what's that? And you, know, you gotta narrow it down which Waimea, which island, but, um, but yeah, definitely in the works, no Healy. Hang tight, we're working on it. <laughs> All right, we had a question from Georgia. Nick, you're originally from Florida. How did you find such a passion for Hawaii and capturing it through art? I think it's so neat just because when we see these, it's just, it really evokes that sense of place. And so I know you spend a lot of time in places where you're just kind of sitting and bringing it in before you make the art, but yeah. Yeah, I think um, for any artist, it's being connected to your surroundings and your inspiration. So. Um, like I said, in Hawaii, maybe that is a little easier just because everything is so beautiful. Um, but I grew up surfing in Florida, so being outside and being on the coast there is one of the reasons that originally brought us to Hawaii, but then planting roots and finding community and uh, you know friends that are family now is something that really made us 
stay and, and like get involved in our community. So um, I, I don't know if that answered the question, but I, I felt like, yeah. was that it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, Anne Marie has a question. Can you order custom pieces? You can, yeah. So we, uh, I have a, a variety of one of a kind of acrylic works that I've done. Um, I source old travel guides and kind of chop them up and do some acrylic pieces on. So um, I have all those on the website. So if you look through some of the past works and there's something you kind of like that looks kind of similar to that. Um, and then with the travel prints, we're always taking, like I said, taking suggestions. So if there's something you want to see, we'll kind of put it on the on the dry erase board. Maybe it'll come out <laughs> down the road. but. But yeah, my studio manager and I, um, he's a chain stitcher. So we've been doing some one of a kind jackets that you saw on mm -hmm. old military jackets. Super so cool. they're like stitched, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's a, a stitching. It's like a technique from a hundred years ago. So yeah, really cool to incorporate that into our mix. Okay. Question from Nicole. What was your reaction after the first print you sold? Yeah, that was, I actually remember that I had an Etsy shop. And I hadn't printed anything yet. I just put it up on the shop. I was like, well, let's see if it sells. And then it sold and I was like, oh crap, I got to figure out how to print this. So uh, <laughs> humble beginnings, I guess. But just, I think I talked about it in the Mon Up showcase about how like you're kind of thrust into business as an entrepreneur and especially as a creative, like I went to school for art and design. I didn't necessarily go for like figuring out how to make it all work. So that's been the, uh, uh, we have a podcast, so maybe this would be a podcast yeah. plug, but um, we started a podcast about a year ago. We're about 18 episodes in, and we, all, we talk about that, like what does it take as a creative to make a business out of it? Because you hear about the starving artist, right? And it's like, well, no, we shouldn't starve. We should at least get compensated for our creativity. So we dive into that with a lot of local artists. So there's a lot of other folks here on island that are trying to do the same thing. So maybe we're continuing the amount of mindset a little bit of like sharing that with others. So it's been really good. And I get to connect with all the folks that I haven't seen in years or we only see in passing at an event or something like mm -hmm. that. Well, I know whenever you have a booth, people are just going crazy trying to buy prints at Maiden Hawaii Fest. And Maiden Hawaii Festival is, is crazy. It's so yeah. busy. Yeah. So if you're here in November, come check it out at All Or Moana. actually, when you're here in November, check out the Mana Up Showcase. That's right. Mana Up Showcase. <laughs> we'll be there too. Yeah. November is a big, big yeah. month. November 3rd, Mana Up Showcase. You're here to hear. So I've got some comments here for some travel prints. Georgia says, hopefully a tantless print mm. next. That would be kind of fun. Could be good. Yeah. Um, Yavona says, um, the X could be an innuendo. Mm. I was thinking maybe X like secret spot. Yeah. Like, we're not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's a good idea. Um, and, uh, Yavona also said she'd love to see a Mauna Lahi Lahi print. Yeah. I've actually surfed out there over on the West side. So right, yeah, that's cool. a great spot for sure. All right. So, um, before we close today's Meet the Makers event, I'm going to have my co-host Bryson announce the lucky winner of our giveaway. Thank you all. Uh, thank you as always, Melly. Our winner of the Oahu Traveler set is Wendy L. from Honolulu. Congratulations. Yay! We'll reach out to you to redeem your prize. Mahalo everyone for tuning in to another episode of Meet the Makers. And thank you, of course, to the incredibly talented artist himself, Nick Kuchar. Yeah, thanks so much for coming by, guys. It's been fun. Yeah. yeah, of course. And remember, you can still be one of just 150 owners of this limited edition Nikuchar Letter D Diamond Head Lighthouse print. Mm -hmm. Get yours now at hasamanup.com or scan the QR code here. Well, we had a lot of fun at your studio today, Nick, so thank you and answering all those questions. So loved getting to know more of the background behind the artist, the myth, the man, the legend, Nick mm -hmm. Kuchar. So thank you. <laughs> All right, so next month we're going back to Honolulu where we'll meet the spicy couple behind Maui Bay's hot sauce company, High Spice. Plus get some pro tips from their dear friend and top chef, Leanne Wong, live from her new Cocoa Head Cafe location. Stay tuned. So to RCP for this event, head to our Meet the Makers page or scan the QR code on your screen. Mahalo again for joining everyone. Until next time, aloha. Aloha.